Hey everyone, it's Kara. So today I have the Sensi Bring Back My Bars to show you. This is the fourth time I've tried to film this video, so I'm sorry if I seem a little off in it. I had to put the dogs up because they keep barking and I'm just driving me crazy. So the boys in the crate back there and the girls are up somewhere else. Um, if you don't know, Bring Back My Bar is um, a couple of months ago, there was a list release of all the discontinued bars from Sensi, and people can vote on what bars they want to come back. So the top, it's either 25 or 30 bars come back. So the top ones are what is available right now. If you like a bar, so you like one of the Bring Back My Bars, um, this is only available for the month of June. I don't know if I said that already. It's June 11th when I'm filming this. Um, as, a, as a consultant, we can order these before the Bring Back My Bars come out. So I ordered mine at the end of May, and because of coronavirus, I just got my box, which is why I'm just now filming this. So you still have like two or three weeks left to get your bars. Um, but like I said, if you like a bar, Hopefully he'll just lay down in a minute. If you like a bar, um, like I said, it's only available for the month of June, so these will go away. If you like a bar, you need to add it to your Sensi Club. Sensi Club is a subscription box that Sensi does. You can get it every month, every two months, or every three months based on your personal needs. Um, if you have a bar, and your Sensi Club, so you have one of the Bring Back My Bars in your Sensi Club. As long as it stays in your club, Sensi will keep making it for you, even if the bar's been discontinued. So, even if it's one of the Bring Back My Bars, even if it's one that's in our current catalog right now, like, I don't know, Black Raspberry Vanilla is popular. If they ever discontinue black raspberry vanilla, which I don't think that they would for that one, but I'm just using that as an example. If they ever discontinued it and you had it in your club, as long as it stays in your club, Sensi will keep making that bar for you. So, with that said, I have a lot of brain map, brain map map bars to show you. So we're going to go ahead and get started. This is going to be a long video. I'm just going to go ahead and warn you. So the first one is banana nut bread. This says, I have the descriptions on my phone, so if I'm looking down, I'm looking at my phone. Right from the oven with ripe bananas, nuts, and spices. So banana nut bread. Y'all. I want to eat this. That's how good it is. I want to eat it. This would be really good in the fall. Y'all, I'm a. I love to bake. I mean, I wouldn't call myself a baker, but I do love to bake more than cook. I never think to make banana nut bread, but this is making me crave banana nut bread. I could sit here and smell this all day. You know a bar it smells good when you want to eat it. Okay. Next is beach. I will say, I love the beach. I love the beach more than the mountains. I would rather go to the beach. When they try to put the beach scent into like a candle or perfume or wax or whatever, I normally tend not to like those scents. Just throwing that out there. The um, There's a couple candles that Bath & Body Works has done in the years past that um, kind of smell like 
a beachy scent. Like I normally tend not to like those. The Bobbi Brown um, beach perfume that's very popular. My older sister had it. I tried it. Was not a fan. And it's not that I hate the beach. Um, it's usually that saltiness from the beach that like when they try to put it into a fragrance and it mixes with whatever else is in the fragrance. That's what I tend not to like. The saltiness to it. So I'm just going to go ahead and forewarn you with that. I don't think I'm going to like this one. I mean, I'm, I will tell you that not all consult, so all consultants like every scent that Sensei puts out. So, I mean, that's just, you're not going to like every scent that ever comes out. So this one says, papaya and honeydew sweetened with a hint of coconut. Right away, I get that saltiness, which makes me not like it. I can smell the papaya and the honeydew, so it's got like a fruity element to it. I don't smell coconut. This one's like fruity with like a hint of salty. It's got like a fresh, fresh scent um, because of like the, it's like a light fruity smell. It's not like too fruity. This one is okay for me. I don't hate it. I don't love it. This one's just kind of like in the middle for me. Yeah, I'm not really a fan of that one. I'm just being honest. That's just my personal opinion. Some of you may love it. Hopefully these dogs will continue to stay quiet. There's a dog outside that keeps barking, so they keep barking. And then some random lady honked on my door and gave me a heart attack. So I'd take a few minutes to go. That was when I was filming it the first time. And... All right, this one is Beach Daisy. I don't know. Daisy, who's my dog. That's her name. Um, so this one's called Beach Daisy. Not sure how I'm gonna feel about this one either because the beach element mixed with daisies. I don't like floral scented things. I'm I don't know yet. We're, we're gonna see. So this one is honeydew melon, wild daisies, and green apple make a bouquet of fresh pick paradise. Surprisingly, I like this one. I didn't think I was going to. This one's really good, which really throws me. I can smell the melon, the honeydew melon, and the daisies. I'm not picking up on the green apple. This reminds me of like a shower gel I used to have many years ago from Bath & Body Works. Um, I buy most of my body care products from Bath & Body Works, so I've tried most of their like, most of the scents over the years. I can't put my finger on it which one this one reminds me of. But it definitely reminds me of a shower gel that I used to have, like I said, many years ago. Okay. This one is Blueberry Rush. I don't love blueberries. I don't like blueberry scented things. So again, I'm not sure how I'm going to feel about this one. So this is Ripe Blueberry leads a luscious bouquet of lively cranberry, black currant, and pomegranate. This is another surprise for me. I like this one. I think I'm smelling the cranberry, blackcurrant, and pomegranate more than the blueberry. 
which is why I think I like this. I don't love it as much as banana nut bread. I don't want to eat it, but I do like it. I'm very surprised that I like this one. Another blueberry scent from Tensi that I also like. It's not part of the Bring Back My Bars. It's just like one of their permanent ones. It's like in the bakery section. Is blueberry cheesecake. I did not think I was going to like that one either. I love blueberry cheesecake. Just throwing that one out there. I don't like the blueberry pancakes one though. I don't know why. Blueberry cheesecake. That's a good one if you haven't tried it yet. Just throwing that one out there. That one's usually around all the time. All right, this one is bubble gum. Can you read that? A little bit. All right, this is sugar and cotton candy with a hint of mint. I have to say that slowly because I want to get it like tongue tied. How did y'all do that? This smells exactly like bubble gum. You know, um, in like restaurants or like, I don't know, grocery stores or wherever, they have like the big gumball machines that has like, they're like the big ones that have like the multicolored gumballs. You put the quarter in, you like turn the thing and like it spins all the way down and you get like seven gumballs at like with a quarter or something. This smells like those gumballs. That's so weird. I like it because it's kind of like nostalgic for me. It like takes me back to my childhood and like want to go like eat at the Mexican restaurant. My mom would like give me a quarter so I could like get some gumballs out of the gumball machine. That's so weird. That's like spot on and like bubble gum. That's like straight bubble gum scent. That one's good. Okay, this one is cashmere. This is Moroccan jasmine, lily of the valley, and bergamot. Not a fan. This one has like floral elements to it. The jasmine, lily of the valley. I'm not really sure what bergamot is. I think it's like an essential oil or something like that. This reminds me of like a perfume my grandmother used to wear. This one's very strong. It's kind of giving me a headache. Some people might like this. I tend to go for like bakery scents, sweet scents, some clean. I don't like florals. I like fresh. I get very weird with like clean scents. I don't like anything to smell like too much like laundry. I don't know how to describe this one. This one just smells like my grandmother's perfume. Which, like it smells good on her, but like I don't want to smell it like in my house. Okay, like I said, this is going to be a long video and we still have a lot to go. I'm trying to do this as quickly as I can, but like I said, there's a lot. This is cherry limeade. I don't like cherries at all. I like some cherry like candy things like Jolly Ranchers or like Blow Pops or something like that. I don't like cherries at all, though. Or like cherry cough syrup, cherries, anything with cherries in it, I tend to not like. So I'm not sure how I'm going to feel about this one either. I've never had a cherry limeade, so I can't say if I like that or not. But this is key lime, sweet cherry, and juicy berry. It's my sister's iPad that's dinging. I've never had a cherry limeade before, and I know I just said that, but like, and it kind of carbonated. 
which I think it, I'm not sure, but I think it is, it's like carbonated, like soda. This has like a fizzy, like bubbly, like carbonation scent to it, which I don't know how you would do that, but this one smells really good. I kind of like it. Like I said, it's kind of got like a, like a fizzy, bubbly scent to it. Kind of like, kind of like soda. Um, that's really weird. I don't know how you get like a carbonation scent. This is good. I like this one. Surprisingly. Some of these scents are kind of surprising me. All right. Next is Cherry Vanilla. This has candy cherry and sugared almonds folded into velvety white chocolate ice cream. I hate almonds. I hate almonds. Especially like almond scented things. My mom had like gave me this like almond scented like hand lotion. I threw it out. I couldn't stand it. Like the scent made me nauseous. I hope I can't smell the almonds in this because the cherry vanilla well I like the cherry limeade so I'm kind of hoping I might like the cherry vanilla it's her iPad again all I can smell is the almonds and the cherries this should have just named this cherry almond. If I had to pick between cherry vanilla or cherry limeade, I would pick this one. I would go with the cherry limeade, but that's just personal preferences. Okay. This is coconut cotton. If you haven't noticed, we're going in like alphabetical order. This is sun warm cotton, creamy coconut milk, bright citrus, and white sandalwood. I will tell you, they've brought this back before, like it was either either the last Bream at my bar or the one before that. Bream at my bar happens twice a year, I believe. I think it's twice a year. Um, I still have some of my coconut cotton left over from the last time. I'm trying to get readjusted. I love coconut cotton. I, I mean, hopefully this still smells the same. But my one upstairs smells like my shampoo that I used like freshman year of college. Um, it was the blue like herbal essence shampoo. I don't remember the name of it. It's in a blue bottle with like a green cap. I don't remember the name of it. I would have to look it up. I could easily spot it in a store. Like if I was like at a store like next to you and you wanted to know what it was, I could like easily grab it for you. I just can't remember the name of it. But like this scent reminds me of that shampoo. So it was like nostalgic for me, which is why I liked it. I can smell this all day. It smells like my shampoo. Not one like I'm using, but like one I've used like years ago. I still buy that shampoo occasionally. That smells so good. Even if I didn't use that shampoo like years ago and the scent wasn't like nostalgic for me, I would still like this scent. Which I would think I wouldn't because cotton scented things. Even if I didn't use that shampoo years ago, I still think I would like this scent. Which kind of surprised me because I usually don't like cotton scented things. This is one I could smell all day and not get sick of it. <clears throat> okay, let's see. Alright. This one is... Echo. 
This is Mediterranean Citrus and Herbs and Bitter Orange. Y'all, <laughs> this is going to sound so weird, but this reminds me of my stepdad's cologne that he used to wear when I was growing up. It smells exactly like his cologne. He and my mom would go out for like date nights on like Friday nights to like the Mexican restaurant and go to like a movie or whatever. And after they would leave, me and my sister would stay at home and do whatever we did. Um, after they would leave, um, I wouldn't even go in their room, but like the, their perfume and their cologne would like, you could smell it from my room. Like it would still like linger in the air. It smells like his cologne. <laughs> that sounds so weird. I don't even know what it was. I don't even know what he used. It was like either Old Spice or like some Ralph Lauren perfume my mom bought him. That sounds so weird to say, but this smells exactly like his cologne. I think it was like Old Spice, but I mean, I could be totally wrong. I don't know what he used because I was like 12 or something, but it smells like his cologne. <laughs> Which my sister said that the other day, um, when I got the box, like I had opened the box, but like I hadn't looked at it. And she got home from work and she was like, it smells like Bob has been here. I was like, Bob hasn't been here? My stepdad has never been here as long as I've lived here. I mean, like we live like close by, so like, they don't ever need to come here. But she's like, it smells like he's just been here. I was like, no, he's not been here. Okay, this one is eucalyptus. I love eucalyptus scented things. I can't get enough eucalyptus stuff. So I'm probably gonna like this one. This is medicinal eucalyptus blended with thyme and sage. It smells good, it smells so good. This smells like vapor rub, like the stuff like your parents like would put on your chest like when you were little and you were sick and you like were having problems like breathing. It smells like vapor rub. Sometimes when I'm sick and like I got like a stuffy nose, I'll put like vapor rub like right here underneath. And it actually helps like like to make me like breathe through my nose again. Because I can't stand when I can't breathe through my nose. That smells so good. If I had this one myself, I would save it for when you were sick. Like I said, I, I feel like it would help you breathe. Um, like if you were congested. I was sick in the, at the end of February before coronavirus, so I really couldn't use this back then. I was really sick. Okay, this is fresh cut grass. I hate, like, despise the scent of fresh cut grass. I don't know what this smells like, but just in, like, in general, after people cut their grass, I can't stand the smell. It makes me nauseous. So this is fresh cut grass, wild fern, and morning dew are just like a freshly cut fairway on a cool summer morning. No. Nope. <laughs> it smells exactly like somebody just cut their grass outside. I can't stand it. This has like gotta be like one of the worst ones for me so far. This one in like the cashmere. I didn't hate the cashmere, it just smelled like my grandmother. Some people might like it. I can't stand the smell of it. Okay, this one is fuzzy blanket. I have to get like super close on the camera with some of these because 
the glare makes it hard to read. This is lavender, sa sandalwood, and sweet honeysuckle. So many of these are hard to open sometimes. Y'all, this smells like jammy time. I can smell this all day. I love jammy time. If you don't know, jammy time is like one of the permanent scents. Um, it's lavender and freesia. I think it's lavender and freesia. Um, it's a very like clean scent. A lot of people use jammy time to like wash their sheets and their, and their towels, which is what I do. Um, because Jamie Tom comes in the laundry line. Um, so, like, I'll wash my sheets and towels in Jamie Tom. This smells exactly like Jamie Tom. If you like Jamie Tom, you're going to like Fuzzy Blanket. I could smell this all day. <clears throat> I'm a little thirsty. Sorry about that, but 30 minutes of talking, I'm <laughs> thirsty. Okay. So we got a little bit more to go. Grape Granita is sun warm grape and pineapple with undertones of honeysuckle. This is a very strong on the grape. I like it, but it's it's very like heavy on the grape. What else is in here? I don't smell pineapple at all. Maybe a little bit of the honeysuckle. Like I smell great, and then there's like something like like just a little hint of something that's different. And I think it's the honeysuckle. I like this one. I do. It kind of smells like Dimatab, like children's Dimatab, like in the grape flavor. That's kind of what this smells like. I mean, I like the scent of <laughs> Dimatab. But like, I will tell you, this is like heavy on the grape. Okay. This one. I love. This is like the same as the coconut cotton. Like this has been around like before and I still have some left. And this is happy birthday. I love this one. Like I said, it's like the coconut cotton. I still have like a couple left from last time. This is sparkling sugar, fluffy whipped cream, and vanilla extract. Y'all, I could eat this one too. This smells like a birthday cake. If you like sweet scents, you'll love happy birthday. This smells like a cake you just like bought at the store. It's like you just like open the box and like you get that whiff of like all the like frosting. I want to eat that. Okay. This is Hemingway. This is rich, ripe apples and warm, woody accents of sandalwood and cedar with hints of spice. That was a mouthful. I like this one. I kind of feel like this one should be around in the fall. Kind of like the banana nut bread. You can definitely smell the apples. Um, yeah, this one's good. I like this one. It's like apples with 
a spiciness to it. It smells really good. Like I said, it'd be, it would be perfect for the fall. Okay, next is Jumpin' Jelly Bean. This is crisp pear and apple, zesty lemon and sugar. Y'all, this smells like those pear jelly beans, which I hate. I can't stand pear jelly beans. I was trying to see if I could smell like the apple or the lemon. I'm sorry about the dogs. He eats his bedding sometimes and he peed on it the other day, so we had to wash his bedding. So that's why there's like no bedding in there right now. I'm sorry about all the noise. This is one I don't like hate. I don't love it though. It's just kind of like in the middle for me. It just smells like the pear, like the pear jelly belly jelly beans. Like it's, this smells how those taste. That sounds really weird, but it is. Okay. This one is pink haze. This is one of the very first Scentsy bars I ever bought. I also bought it in a car bar, and it was the very first car bar that I ever used. This is berries, nectarines, and vanilla laced whipped cream nestled in marshmallow fondant. So, as you can tell, it's like on the sweet scent. This smells so good. <laughs> like, I can remember like having the car bar of this in my car, and it was like summertime like two years ago. I remember my car smelling like this. This one's like nostalgic for me, so like I like this one. Like I said, it was one of the very first few Scentsy bars I ever bought. It's very sweet. You can smell a little bit of the berries, but it's really strongly, it's very kind of like sickly sweet. I like that scent, like that's what I tend to, to gravitate towards. If you don't like that, I don't, would say kind of stay away from it. Okay, this is Rio Beach. Again, I'm not sure what, how I'm going to feel about this one. Actually, no, I have this one upstairs in a brick. Yes, I have this one upstairs in a brick. Which is, if you don't know, a brick is like five and a half of these bars, of the little bars. Like, it, the, the brick is huge. Um, I love this one. I have, like I said, I have it in a brick. I love it that much. So this one is coconut milk, tropical fruit, and tonka bean. I was very surprised that I liked this one, which is why I ended up getting it in a brick. If you don't know, sometimes if you can't like smell it right away, you can take your like finger and kind of like rub on the wax a little bit, and then like it helps bring out the scent. I don't know how to describe the scent because like it's, it says Rio Beach, but it doesn't smell anything like those like beachy type of scents to me. This one's kind of like sweet too. It's not too sweet. It's got like a little bit of sweetness to it because it has the tonka bean in it. It's got a little bit of fruitiness to it and creaminess. Um, the creaminess is coming from the, co the coconut milk. And obviously the fruitiness is coming from the tropical fruit. And like I said, the sweetness is coming from the tonka bean. This one's good. I should show you like my top ones after all this is done. We only got a few more to go. One, two, three, six more. Almost done. Okay. This one is root 66. Some people say route. I'm from the south. I say root. This is citrus, herbs, and musk. 
I normally tend to like things that have musk in it, so. I like this one. Like I said, I like the I like musky scents. So this has like the musky um, scent to it and like a citrusy scent to it. This one's good. I'll show you like my top favorites after this is done. Okay, this is one I think I'm not gonna like at all. Simply rose. Like I said, I don't like floral scented things. That's just my personal preference. This says a fragrance for those who love the scent of pure rose. Honestly, I don't love the scent of roses. I don't love the scent of most flowers. I like the look of flowers. I love to get flowers because they look pretty. I don't like to smell flowers. Mm. <laughs> this is very strong. It's very heavy on the rose scent. Like, I mean, it says pure rose. It's a, that's exactly what this is. Oh, that's very strong. If you like florals, get Simply Rose. But that's way too strong for me. Okay. Southern Evening. French Lavender, Geranium, Subtle Fruits, and White Musk. I smell the lavender, the French lavender. I smell the white musk. It's like a little, I can kind of smell the subtle fruits. This one's kind of like cashmere, like I can smell it, like, but I don't know how to describe it myself in the face with this. I don't hate it. I don't think I would pick this one to buy personally, but I don't hate it. Three more. All right. This one I know I love because it's been around before. Um, it was in the last, last season's catalog and that's discontinued. I think that's right. This one is sugar. This smells like the pink sugar perfume, the Aquilina pink sugar perfume. It smells exactly like sugar. This is fruity blend of lemon drops and cotton candy. My sister is obsessed with this scent. Like really obsessed with it. I have the pink sugar perfume. I could show you if I could find it real quick. Here we go. Pink sugar perfume. Smells exactly like sugar. So if you have this or know what it smells like, you would like sugar. They smell exactly the same. You can see I like the pink sugar perfume because it's the bottle's almost empty. Okay, next is thunderstorm, which is ironically what it's supposed to have been doing today, but it hasn't yet. So, thunderstorm, refreshing moss, sharp clove, and spicy rose. I smelled the rose right away. I can, y'all, all I can smell is rose right now. I can, I can smell the clove a little bit. I can kind of smell the moss too. This is, again, this is one, it's okay, but like I wouldn't pick it for myself. Last one is White Sands, 
This is jasmine softened by coconut milk and rice, enveloped in the gentlest breeze. Oh, I can smell the jasmine. I love jasmine. Um, I mean, I've never said I don't like floral scents, but I do love the scent of jasmine. I kind of like this one. This is kind of like one of those ones, like, based on this description, I didn't think I would like. Um, but this is one of the ones that's kind of like surprising me a little bit. This smells really good. I actually really like this one. White scams. Okay, so personally, if I was buying some for myself, I would pick Sugar. Rio Beach, Pink Haze, I'm trying to look through all these real quick, Happy Birthday, Fuzzy Blanket, Eucalyptus, Coconut Cotton, um, banana nut bread, bubble gum, sorry, beach tasty, let's see, cherry lemonade, um, I smell blueberry again. Blueberry Rush. I'm trying to get the ones that I would pick. Hemingway. I would save Hemingway for the fall. White Sands and Great Grenada. So the only ones I wouldn't pick would be Southern Evening, Simply Rose, Jumpin' Jelly Bean, Beach, Thunderstorm. Fresh cut grass, cashmere, echo, cherry vanilla, and Route 66. I like this one. I just, I don't love it enough to like want to buy it or like burn, um, like burn it in my house. Yeah. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I have ten that I would not pick, and then three, six, nine, twelve. I would pick fifteen. So those are my picks personally. Um I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm sorry it was so long, but like I said, there was a lot to get through. And I wanted to give you, like, my personal opinions and, like, read the descriptions and everything. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, let me know what else you want to see um, video-wise. And I will see you guys later. Bye, everyone.